What if I told you that this business model, the rank and rent business model, or the rent then rank business model, was the sexiest unsexy business on the internet? The sexiest unsexy business on the internet. What would you say? Would you even understand what I was talking about? I want to share with you today why this model of building simple websites, ranking them on Google and renting them out for passive income is the sexiest but most unsexy business model on the internet. And for that very reason, a lot of people are, are skipping over it. A lot of people are missing out on it. My name is Nick Wood. I am the king of digital real estate. I am the founder of Digital Landlords, which we have at the time of recording this over, well, I don't even know, it's close to or over 500 members of. We've seen students go from zero to literally $50,000 within a year doing our processes and our techniques. Um, I've been doing this a long time, man. I've seen it all. I've made the mistakes. I've spent the money. I've gone in debt. I've spent $1.3 million on Google ads. I speak from experience and I'm here to tell you that this business model, the, the, the digital real estate business model is the most unsexy yet sexiest business model on the planet. And here's what I mean by that. I do not believe, and I think if we asked a hundred people, Hey, hundred people, uh, would you say that concrete is, is a sexy business? Would you say that tree service is, is a interesting, exciting, sexy business? Or would you say insulation or roof repair or duct cleaning or whatever? I'm just trying to think of niches, uh, masonry. Would you, is that sexy? I would say 90, 90, over 90% of the people you asked would say, of course not. Now there might be a couple people that are geeked out and they're in that business and they might say, yeah, that's awesome. And those are the people that have great businesses in that thing because they're actually doing, they're the business owners, right? But if you ask people that weren't business owners, I would even venture to say hundred percent would say, no, those are unsexy, boring businesses. Okay. And that's the truth. Okay. Concrete ain't sexy, man. It ain't. And I'm saying ain't not isn't. Okay. It ain't sexy. You're dealing with a specific type of person and a specific crew and a dirty business and it's cold or it's hot and your hands are dirty and your back hurts and it's it's not a sexy business. It's, it's really not, okay? And neither is tree service and neither is insulation and neither is duct cleaning and neither are a hundred other niches that I'm in making loads of money in, okay? You know what else isn't sexy about this business model is doing backlinks and, and all things SEO and content, building websites on Weebly or Wix, or maybe you're smart and you know how to do WordPress. I don't. Okay. It's not sexy, man. That's not sexy. When I think of something that's sexy, I think of like having a business and travel around the world and I'm doing cool stuff with cool people and I don't know, being an influencer or something. That sounds sexy, right? Or being a professional this, a professional that not doing backlinks from my house on my 13 inch little MacBook Air because I just started and I'm broke. That doesn't sound sexy because it's not, okay? Talking to concrete contractors who are complaining about their employees, that doesn't sound sexy, but it's, it's because it's not. But guys, you know what is sexy? Getting strike notifications every single week and every single month telling you that you have money in your account because the card that you have on file and have had on file for the last three years just got banged yet again with no complaints, with no text messages and, and, and this or that from the business owner. You know what is sexy is being able to pick up your family and move to another continent. You know what's sexy is being able to take your, your family with your in-laws or your parents and go on a trip and pay for the entire thing on your dime. You know what's sexy is being able to buy your dad a Rolex watch or your mom a Louis Vuitton bag for the heck of it. Not because it's their birthday or, or this or whatever, but because you just want to. This business model is unsexy. It is. We are going and generating leads for industries that are boring, industries that people don't want to be in, industries that everyone is too good for. Nobody wants to go do concrete. Nobody wants to get dirty. Nobody wants to go and freaking put on work gloves and a hard hat. Nobody wants to do that stuff. Everybody wants to be a YouTube guy or an influencer guy or whatever the case is, right? And I'm not saying that I'm any different than anyone. And so 
the people that are willing to be in those businesses, and especially those of us that are willing to do to have services and to serve those businesses, right? We are very much like the people during the gold rush in California, right? Back in whenever, I don't even know what year that was or what, what time frame that was. We are selling the picks and shovels and the business owners are the ones that are doing the actual digging. And yes, there's some that are going to get very rich, but you and I who are selling the shovels and the picks and the, and the sandwiches, we are the ones that have the highest chance of making the most amount of money for the least amount of work. And what's better about our businesses that they didn't have those pick sellers and those shovel sellers is we create assets. We rent them. We own them. We control them. We build portfolios of digital assets that will stay with us for our entire lives. That once we get to the top of Google, take very little to maintain. We get to travel wherever we want to travel. We don't, we're not stuck and tied to one location, right? We get to make money while we sleep, while we travel, while we golf, while we hang out with our family or our friends, while we go swimming, while we hang out in the hot tub, right? While we go skiing, while we go race our motorcycles, whatever it is we want to do. The, the business itself is unsexy as can be. It's one of the most unsexy businesses on the planet because of who we're serving and what we do day to day. But the result and the life that this creates makes it the most sexy the most intriguing and the greatest business model on the planet. And I mean that, and I don't just say that and speak that and I have, and it's empty words, but I have quite literally, I, I have and am quite literally gambling my entire future on this business model. Everything that I'm doing is because of this vehicle. And this is the vehicle that is pumping money into the real estate and pumping money into the, the other investments, the syndicates that I'm doing and the investments in small companies. And it is paying for the travel and is doing all these things. This is the model. So yes, the sky could fall tomorrow. And yes, Google could make a change tomorrow. And yes, chat GPT, blah, 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 blah. Okay. That could happen. But we're entrepreneurs and we problem solve and we pivot and we shift and we move and we shake. And that's why we get paid the big bucks. So my friends, if you want, uh, if you're looking for a business model that you're willing to do some work, but that creates a life that is sexy, a life that is sexy defined by you because you get to do what you want to do when you want to do it, wearing what you want to wear, having the opinions of political views that you want to have because it doesn't matter and it's not going to affect your paycheck. Maybe this is the business model for you.